I know it feels like somebody's watching me. Ain't got no privacy. Oh, well, uh -oh. Brian is in the other room with the door closed, and I feel very awkward trying to film right now. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Hello, hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old, just got married and moved to Nashville. I'm gonna keep mentioning that like as long as I can. I'm gonna milk that sucker. Currently, yeah, I don't have a job. Not only because I just moved to a new city, I had planned on getting a job, but then the whole COVID-19 thing happened and no place is really hiring. Actually, that's why places are hiring. I applied to a lot of places and I have heard back from none of them yet. So I'm going to say that no places are hiring yet. So I typically work in the food service industry. So with that, I get cash tips and I use that for stuffing my cash envelopes. But as I said, not working, no job, no cash really, because I'm trying to be healthy and safe and not touch a lot of cash right now. So today we're actually just going to be writing out my budget. I know a lot of people are doing that right now, which I'm making myself feel a lot better about not stuffing cash, but still tiling it like stuff cash on envelope stuff in cash. So there's gonna be a lot of changes with my budget coming up. I'm really excited about sharing the process with you guys and trying to sort it out and figure it out together because like there's a lot of things that I don't know what's happening. So grab yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have of course some coffee but jokes on you there's ice in this cup. It's iced coffee. Fancy. And let's just get right into the video. Alrighty, so getting right into everything here. This is my Dingbats journal. It's really nice. It has like a faux leather. You can check out the company. I really enjoy all their ethics and everything. And getting into my cash envelope spread. Oh, the pen that I'm using is this Pilot G2.05. Love it, live it, laugh it. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so the way that I have everything set up is I will have my weekly to do's here on the left and then my cash envelopes here on the right. So let's just get y'all all zoomed in here so we can see what I'm writing. Okay, so there's no income coming in this week, not yet. Both Brian and I both signed up for unemployment and then basically any like grants that we can get right now too. Um, obviously you haven't heard anything back from it yet. Hopefully we'll hear something soon so that way we can actually start you know, having money. But right now I'm just have my weekly spending and then bills. Normally the way I have things set up is that paychecks pay for bills and then the cash tips that I made from like my food service jobs went towards weekly spending. But you know, things are changing. Okay, so for gas, I, again, I'm just gonna say $10. We didn't put any gas in our cars last week because we really didn't drive around town much, or at least like this week that just happened because we really didn't drive around town much. Um, Food, I think $100 this week is going to do pretty good. Looking at our grocery list right now, we just have like some really basic things on it, like fish, rice, and some veggies. We stocked up pretty well on some other essentials last week, so I think $100 will do pretty good. And then toiletries is just going to get another 10 here for that. If you guys know, if you're from Nashville or from this area, if you guys know of any like mom and pop, mom and pop shops uh, for food or anything that we can go to, uh, let me know in the comments because I really do like being able to support little mom and pop shops right now. As you guys know, my parents are mom and pop shops. So having, you know, people coming in and buying from them is really helpful to keep them open. So weekly spending is going to be a hundred and $20 so we're gonna keep track of all the spending that we do this week and make sure that we don't go over um, that amount basically because there's no cash so it's basically just me filling in our spending log and making sure that we're staying on top of things and then bills NES is our gas and electricity I think I think that's what it is Nashville electricity sewage I don't know what it stands for I just came here so um, <laughs> I have no idea actually how much it's gonna be this month so I'm gonna estimate about 150 so I'm gonna say that we want to make sure that we have at least the 150 in our bank accounts for this upcoming week because that's the bills that are coming up this upcoming week because it's our first month here we really don't know how much it's going to be if the city is going to be cutting the costs of things or anything i genuinely have no idea that is really just the biggest estimation of <laughs> like what it could be so that 
is that? That is, it is so simple and so like, easy to look at, but it's still just making me kind of feel weird not actually having cash to stuff and not like handling cash right now. Really just kind of relying on like the trust system right now of being like, oh yeah, we're only spending this much right now. Um, instead of physically holding the money and seeing that we're going over budget or that we have money left over. So that's still kind of weird for me, um, but we're gonna get that all sorted and figured out. And so far we're still doing okay. But yeah, that's gonna be that for that. Easy peas. Okay, so that's what we're doing for, it's not cash envelope stuffing, but writing down my bills for this upcoming week. I'll be honest, I don't like this. <laughs> like it's making me really uncomfortable having to budget this way. As you guys know, like I do get some like money anxiety. It comes from a history of being tremendously broke and homeless at other times. So like, it's making me really uncomfortable, everything that's happening right now. I'll be honest, I am super grateful and it is like a nice sense of relief for myself that I know not everybody has right now that we both individually have been saving, that I do have a husband, I do have a home to live under and you know, I can recognize the relief that I do have it comes from some areas of privilege, but it's still like giving me like anxiety, like writing things down and seeing that there's no money coming in right now. It's making me uncomfortable. Part of it is not only I was already getting a little anxious over the fact that Brian and I both have like different backgrounds and history with money. So when it comes to, you know, looking at our budget, you know, I am very like money oriented and like budget oriented, whereas Brian's not as focused as I am. So that in itself was making me kind of uncomfortable, but then now it's just, we have no income coming in. So it's like, ah, <laughs> which I know is like a feeling that's mutual for a lot of people right now. So there's a weird sense of solidarity, 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 is that how it's pronounced? A weird sense of community in this freak out. <laughs> like we're all just kind of like, ah, right now. So this is kind of why it's really important right now for me, as I'm sure for a lot of you guys, that making sure we're on top of our budget, really only spending money on essentials, not spending money on like other ridiculous things is really important because I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me where you're blowing through your savings right now, your emergency fund, which by the way, let me just reassure for you, if you need the reassurance, spending your emergency fund right now is okay, it's fine. This is an emergency. We're in a national state of emergency. If you need to spend your emergency funds on some things, do it. Even if it's just a small little area of comfort for yourself, say you have some kids and you really wanna make sure that you can feed them and your bills are paid, but they are so bored out of their minds and they're going crazy getting a little cabin fever. If you wanna give them like a little treat and you have to dip into your emergency fund for that, like take reassurance that that's okay. Obviously, like don't go crazy for yourself or anything, but like make sure you're okay and that your bases are covered. But in this moment of like craziness, like give yourself little graces right now. Ooh, that got deep. My bad, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> I got too deep. I'm like sweating. But yeah, with all this time of being quarantined, use this time for yourself. It could be with being creative. Maybe you have a small business that you've been wanting to grow. That's me, hello. <laughs> so you can finally actually start doing it because you're not having to be at work all the time. Or honestly, like you don't have to do that. You don't have to feel pressure to do that. You can just really just take time for yourself and just do nothing if you want. Like that can also be a thing. If you've been so busy, not even physically, but like mentally, take this time as nice, little forced relaxation time. Like you can give yourself permission to do nothing if you want, like it's okay, <laughs> like you can do that. I know this time can be hard for a lot of people where you're being forced to isolate when you really mentally shouldn't be, especially if you're dealing with some mental illnesses, being able to socialize with people could be really helpful having social distractions. So there are a lot of things that I'm sure YouTube is one of them as a nice little distraction for yourself, but go ahead and reach out to the people that you love and let them know that you're hurting if you need to, that way people can help you. You know, like I said, in this time of like weird communal financial anxiety isn't the only thing that we can find community over during this time. We could really just find some nice internet friends. If you need an internet friend, right here. 
hang out with me. <laughs> I need friends. I'm new in town. I don't know anybody except my husband. So <laughs> give me some friends, please. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for my little therapy session right there for myself and you if you needed it. I don't know, but I needed this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, go ahead and subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media at Quinn Kaylin. We can chat, DM me. We can become best internet friends. I I love it. I live it. I laugh it. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love. This is what quarantine does to me, you guys. And you guys, today's doggo of the week, I swear y'all are professional photographers. <laughs> Ding! Look at the tiny little cutie named Biscotti. She is so cute. I just want to dunk her in some coffee and eat her up. Ah, oh, she's so cute. If you want your furry or scaly little companion in next week's Cash Envelope video, go ahead and DM me pictures of them. I love it. They're great. They make me so happy. Like, I hope it makes you guys happy seeing this, like, happy little joyous little face. You just want to show you so much. Which, by the way, Brian told me that I didn't have a pet ferret here. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. I freaked out. I'm like, Ooh, just thinking about that right now. I want a ferret, a little squirrely little noodle, furry noodle. I want one. I could see him just running around here. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much. Like, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Ooh. Speaking of somebody starting their own little small business here, I made Easter cards. Look at this, you guys, I'm being creative. This one is a bunny, this one is a floral wreath, this one is a basket, and this one is the beginning of my April spread. If you guys saw it, it's now on a card. If you guys want them, I sell them through Instagram right now, Instagram and Twitter. Just gotta DM me, because I don't have a website yet, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to become a professional in this world, you guys. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. I think it's cool, I think they're great. If you want them, let me know. Obviously, Easter is in like a week, so uh, if you're seeing this later than Easter, I do apologize. But there's going to be more things coming out. Keep an eye out. Okay, love you, bye!